I'm so so excited for today's video because yesterday Grant and I went strawberry picking for our one year anniversary of marriage and so today I am making homemade strawberry preserves for the first time ever. So I'm so excited to do this. It's a very dreary day so I feel like making strawberry preserves will be a fun little project to do today. So I'll show you everything that I have for it. So I have eight pounds of sugar. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna need yet. Um, we have two more packs of this also, so lots and lots of sugar. Um, I'm actually gonna half this recipe though and um, make it less sugary than normal preservatives. I have all of these mason jars. I bought these mason jars to give some away for the people in our small group. And then I have this utensil set to um, clamp and get these jars out of the boiling water. And then a funnel, I'm not sure what that is, so I'll probably figure it out. <laughs> and then Grant was creative and decided to get this tool to pick up the hot jars from the boiling water. And then the pectin, I was trying to debate if I wanted to even use pectin because I just have been really noticing all the stuff they add in our foods and I was like, well, I want it to be natural, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try it since I've never made preservatives ever before. So, these are all of the items that I have to make it. And then over here we have this pot for water to boil them in to preserve the jars. And so I'm excited. So, <laughs> we got like 20 pounds of strawberries because I am always buying strawberries at the store, but they are so expensive, especially whenever they are in the season right now, that where they are so delicious. And so, I need to show you what 20 pounds of strawberries looks like in our fridge right now. So, we have two shelves full of strawberries. And so, let's get these out, wash them, and then we will smash them in a bowl. mashing the strawberries to get them a little bit less chunky because I don't want it to be too chunky but I also don't want it to be super thin and so I feel like this is a good amount because I feel I think it's going to break down even more once it gets sugar added and the pectin and boiling and everything so there's that we have all of these strawberries and then one whole uh, another one of these plates so <laughs> Got a long way to go. Okay, so now I'm going to measure the berries in this measuring cup because, so the recipe that I'm doing, it says um, for nine cups of berries that are smashed already, then you add two thirds cup of pectin, then you bring that to a boil, and then you add the sugar, and then you bring it to a boil again, boil for one minute, and then you process in the hot bath in here. And so I guess I should get this boiling, turn that up a little bit. So let's get to it. So before that, I forgot I need to um, sterilize the jars first. And so what I'm gonna do is take off the lids and just put them in the boiling water to sterilize for a few minutes and then take them back out. Whenever the preservatives are all done, I have to put them in a hot jar so you can't put the hot preservatives into a cold jar because it does something weird and so that will help the jars get hot before we pour it in anyway so I'm gonna do that now okay I've taken the lids off of these and now I'm going to just use this little handle thing to pick it up which is very hard to do with one hand and drop it down inside and ah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop videoing so I can finish okay they're all in there now hopefully that works okay don't make fun of me if I'm doing anything wrong um, but I'm trying my best I looked up a whole bunch of different things online to try to figure out tips and tricks and the best recipes and all of that and so 
hopefully it turns out really yummy but we'll see so now I'm going to finally go bring strawberries over to this other pot that is already on except it's on the back one <laughs> so then I'm just gonna bring the strawberries with the pectin to a boil and then add the sugar bring that to a boil let it sit for a minute or two and then transfer over I'm a little bit nervous but it's okay if it's not the most amazing thing because it's my first time so I'm excited though to have homemade jelly so I'm gonna do four of these two cups um, to the line and then one one cup so let's pour it in the pot off of the eye because I just messed up and put it on a hot pan in the eye and um, it all splattered so don't do that do it on a pot that is not hot yet so this is about nine cups of the strawberries I moved over to the pot now I'm going to pour the pectin in here it's one third of a cup for every nine cups of strawberries so I'm gonna pour this in here one of these packages right here is equivalent to one third of a cup, which you need two thirds of a cup for nine cups of strawberries. Stir it with a wooden spoon and see how it boils. So I'm starting to hear it boil. See it a little bit. So I've heard that it's really important to continually stir since it's so thick to get the heat all throughout it without it burning so it needs to sit there for a little bit more because it's not completely boiling yet so now I'm going to take out these sterilized mason jars now and put them over here so that they are ready to be poured in once they're dried out Okay, it's been boiling for a minute. It's looking really good. Now I'm gonna take my little ladle so that I can easily put it in the funnel. Which I feel like these may be a little bit too chunky of pieces, some of them. So I think I may take my smasher and do that a little bit more before I transfer it over. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over so that's close. And I'm gonna funnel it in. So it's about one of these scoops full. It's like the perfect amount. Yay. So move to the next one and I will clean up around the edges once I'm done putting it all in. That makes it really easy that it's all just one scoop full. So one half pint is just one of these scoops. I'm making a mess, but I guess that's a part of it. I guess it's not considered jelly, it's considered preservatives, which I'm just now learning the difference between all of those. It's all similar to me. Now I'm taking a wet paper towel to go around the edges and make sure everything's clean before we take the seals out and put them on and dump it back in there to preserve. We decided to come help me. She was struggling. It tastes so good. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Coming and destroying okay, so everything. What do we gotta do now? So now I need to put the seals on, uh, wrap it up, put the ring on. Oh, that's two seals. It did feel a little thick. And... And then does it have to go in the water? Yep. For 10 minutes it needs like to boil in the water. Quick, right? Probably. Okay, we put it in there. Now it's preserving. We leave it for 10 minutes, boiling. And then we take it back out and then we'll slowly start to hear it pop, I think. Or maybe it's popping in there to seal it. While it is boiling and sealing over there, I am now doing this whole process again. Washing the strawberries, mashing them, and then gonna boil it, add the pectin, sugar, and then drain it into the new mason jars and then boil the new mason jars. So. I'm gonna do that and then we're also gonna leave some of the strawberries for, I would like to make a strawberry pie, I think that would be fun. Um, and then I also wanna leave some strawberries for 
smoothies because we eat so many smoothies and strawberries are expensive and so we're not going to make all of these strawberries all jellies but we're making a quite a bit of um, preservatives with it so now I'm going to just redo this whole process again my alarm for the mason jars and the boiling water just went off so now I'm trying to get it out it's very difficult with one hand this is so hard to do um, while videoing because this is my first time ever doing it and so but I still wanted to video and show you guys and I took a little taste before it was actually in the boiling water in the jars and it tastes really really good and so um, and then I think that we have to let this sit um, for 24 hours and then we put it in the fridge but I need to check on that and see if that's how you do preserves, but I'm excited. Emily's cleaning up. I got off work, so I came down to help. We kind of forgot to video for like an hour, but we were just doing the exact same stuff. Yeah, just Only that same cycle over and over and over again, except, yeah. Slight difference, we got some little miniature, they're really hot, so I can't touch them too long, but little tiny jam jars, they're upside down right now because that's how they seal. We make it really, really hot, and then we flip it upside down, and when they cool off, like the can, depressurizes or I don't I'm not a science guy I don't know and then somehow it seals but we've got the last little bit they're filled with jam they're cooking in there for 10 minutes and uh, then we're gonna take them out flip them over and we'll be finished but we have a ton here look at all those amazing those are gift ones those are gift ones and then we'll keep those for ourselves okay it is now 9 20 and I started this at like 2 30 so my back hurts really bad, but here is the final product, all of the preserves. I think that they have finally sealed, yeah. So that's really exciting. Now we are about to finally have dinner because we've been working on this for forever. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.